All right, it is time for another seven day challenge. And this one, this one I've dreaded for a long time. It is not, it is definitely not my favorite thing to do. And I guess that's why I gotta do it. It is 4.30 a.m. and I'm about to go for a jog. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's, it's that serious. There's no way we can reinvent unless we really push ourselves. This was more running that I purposely did in like all of my life. I'm still alive. Thank God for seven day challenges. It's a very productive day when you can get up early enough to go for a jog and watch the sunrise. All right, so day two, 5 a.m. Feeling good. I know that jogging is more about what's in your head than what's in your feet. Feeling a little bit sore this morning from yesterday's jog. Just a tiny little bit, but it's more of a challenge of, of getting out there. It's still dark outside, kind of cold. So let's see how this goes. A little bit of a surprise this morning, it's raining. It's wet. <sighs> Staying on a beats a minute too fast for your heart. <sighs> I'm just kidding. It's only it's only 163, but I don't know if that's any good. It's only a 12 minute run. I gotta look up the statistics for normal joggers because I don't know if I'm doing any good. Note to self, wear a hat. It's cold out there. Day three of my jogging challenge. And today was different. The beginning was really tough. Last night I felt pumped. I was pretty sore, I was feeling the effects, I was feeling the high, got a good night's rest, went to sleep kind of early. So I was ready to go this morning. I jumped out the door, went for it. First it was my head, it was, I was kind of focused on my, my head being cold and, and um, then it was the incline, it got better when I turned the corner to go back. It was, first it's, it's, a, it's a decline, right, and it's, it's easier. And then just kind of, I don't know, it's one of those things, you got to break that barrier. That's what I see. It's in jogging, it's in life, and it's in any, in any challenging situation, you gotta learn to get past that barrier. You gotta push yourself towards that limit when you think you can't go any longer. The struggle is real. So that hot shower after running in the cold, that is something else, invigorating. I actually think that's a bigger motivation than, than anything else. Wanted to film the sunrise this morning, but it was raining pretty hard. Check out the sky after the rain. It's pretty dope. Talk about a tough run this morning. I came this close to failing my seven day jogging challenge. Yesterday uh, I had to travel to Tel Aviv. Ended up doing a lot of walking. Woke up this morning and uh, had to, it took me a little while to get out there. Uh, before the rain started though, I did, I did finish my, my jog. Uh, I kind of cheated this morning, I took a different route, a different course. Uh, the one that I ran yesterday had a slight incline for a quarter of a mile, like three, three four hundred uh, meters. So when I saw that, my head was like, no, you're not doing it, you're gonna stop, you're gonna quit. So I, I had to react and made a, a sharp right and took a different course, finished it, uh, it was tough though, felt sluggish, my feet were just, were, uh, were dragging, but I did it though, did it, I'm happy I did it. The challenge continues, this one's out. See the sunrise, pretty awesome, matches my hat. Thus begins the fifth day of my seven 
day jogging challenge. Um, I actually felt great. The jog felt great this morning. I did have a little struggle going on in my head because my knees kind of acting up and my heels are hurting. Running in the cold doesn't really help my throat. But I think today was uh, today was a lot easier. I think my breathing was finally in tune with my jog. I felt good. I didn't I didn't uh, notice a great struggle in my in my head trying to get me to quit. I took this uh, I took this turn and I, I, I ended up running jogging past the a nightclub and all these people rolling out of there and everybody kind of just with their <laughs> The jaw dropped. So hopefully, hopefully that inspired somebody or at least made somebody think. Because you know it's when we start asking the right questions when we are able to start reinventing something in our life. Now that is what we should be watching. That is beautiful. Highly recommend it. Say no to mass media, kids. Watch some sunrises. This is day six of my jogging challenge. Almost over. It's been an incredible experience, especially for things like this. I'm on top of this mountain. I came out here before dawn this morning. It's the Sabbath, and a small group of us uh, comes up here to, to the top of this mountain to pray. Here's something I realized in today's run. It was a lot easier mentally for me to to jog in this in this unfamiliar place. I I noticed on my previous days, once I would get closer to home, my head would start turning off and saying, "Okay, it's it's time to quit." And it didn't happen here because I'm not sure if the turn that I'm making is actually going to take me back to where I started. Um, so here's I think this is a valuable lesson for our life. Once we push ourselves into the unknown. Uh, things might look scarier, but I think we're mentally more focused and our focus is sharper so that we can do the things that we, we intend to actually better than when we are in a familiar territory. I have officially successfully completed my seven day jogging challenge. It was uh, an experience. It was very interesting. I got some very interesting insight into my into my head, into my body response to that kind of exercise. Even though it was taxing on my knees and my lower back, I still think it's a it's a great way to exercise. It is definitely one of the simplest types of exercise. You don't need anything for it. You just go out and do it. In my experience, I found out that you gotta make do with what you got. You got a pair of shoes, go for a run. So will I become best friends with jogging? I'm not so sure, but I do want to continue jogging maybe a couple of days a week so I can keep up the habit and see uh, what kind of results I can get. Thank you for watching. I hope that this has been motivational to you. I hope that you can start asking yourself some questions. I hope that you can wake up early enough to see a sunrise this, this week and uh, let that speak to your heart. Remember that none of the effort, none of the positive changes that we want to bring about in our life really matter unless we're doing that for self-discovery, unless that self-discovery leads us to the realization that we need God. You see, ultimately, it's all about eternal life. Ultimately, it's about His work in us and not what we can do in ourselves. Until that time, keep reinventing my friends. Hey, do me a favor, if you totally hated this video, find that thumbs down button that's underneath, click that and let me know why you hated it. But if you liked it, and I hope you liked it, then you gotta do something about it. You gotta start asking the questions, you gotta start analyzing your life and start reinventing. So the first positive change that you can bring into your life, onto somebody else's life, is by sharing this video. Let's see how far we can take this.